Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this introduction to risk assessment. In everyday life we are constantly exposed to situations where we must decide whether to take a risk or not. Many of these decisions must happen very quickly. This often ends in accidents. Sometimes these misjudgments even lead to death. Why do these mistakes happen? Well, sometimes it's through carelessness, sometimes simply a misjudgment of the risk, sometimes it is due to a lack of experience. If the misjudgment only affects you, then only you will face the consequences of your decision. The situation is very different when products are manufactured and provided to others. If people are harmed in this way, then the manufacturer of the product will be held accountable. The question should no longer relate to the consequences of the accident. The question should instead be concerned with how damage can be avoided from the outset. The answer is risk assessment. Can you predict what might happen? Yes, you can. Risk assessment is a targeted investigation of products during design, construction or modification. Hazards are identified along with a possible degree of harm. Measures are then applied to reduce the risk such as the protective equipment you can see in the background. Serious accidents could still happen, but at least the manufacturer can prove that they have done everything they could to prevent this. It is therefore important that the risk assessment is documented and also that the measures are actually implemented. But how is a risk assessment actually carried out? The procedure is described in detail in the international standard ISO 12100. More information can be found in the next video, Risk Assessment According to ISO 12100 2010. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.